Hi everyone, my name is Veronica Clark. I'm the president of the EPDA and of the Malta Parkinson's Disease Association. Today is World Parkinson's Day, the very important day for the Parkinson's community and sadly the second one that we celebrate amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's hope that next year we will be able to celebrate with in-person meetings and events once again. And in the meantime, let's stay united and keep supporting each other. The past year has been especially hard for people with Parkinson's all around the world, with restrictions reducing the possibilities for everyone to exercise and socialise. And for this reason, we choose to mark World Parkinson's Day with an entertaining video session focused on well-being, exercise and cooking developed especially for people with Parkinson's. I don't want to make any more spoilers, so I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Josefa Domingos and John Dean, who I'm sure you will know from the Exercise Cast and Keep On Moving series that the EPDA published just last year. Thank you very much to our partner company, Bial, for helping us to produce this video and to Parkinson's UK for organising the Together Apart global campaign, which we are very proud to be joining today. Have a great day on this special day, everyone, and let's get started. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our EPDA event for you today on this World Parkinson Day. Um, we have a special, I would say, treat, I think would be nicely applied. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, based on um, our collaboration with Bial, and they have a, they're launching today a new training area that will include nutrition and movement and cognition and voice as well. We just had this idea of, you know, why not put it all together in a context that people usually have also difficulties and raise some awareness for those difficulties on this day. So I have with me today, Louise, thank you so much for being participating. This is always torturing to film someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure. And Chef Fabio, that will help us engage in these creating uh, beauty yeah. activities, right? So. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello people. I'm uh, Chef Fabio and today we are preparing a delicious recipe. Very easy and very delicious. Louise, you like plums? Yeah, of course. And um, Josefa, what are your favorite fruits? Oh, it's better I don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, you know, researching, you just like to eat fast food, so it's horrible. I'm no. sorry, I'm sorry, but it's true, I have no, to be honest. No, no, no. Josefa, I, I, I see you and... I, no, I see I'm not going to no, say you salads, like plums, okay? you like strawberries, you like everything. <laughs> no, of course. Healthy, yes. very healthy. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> pretend yes. <laughs> uh, Luis, you like bakery and... Uh, produce the different cakes. It's true? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. What's your favorite cake? Well, you know, I have a lot of uh, favorite cakes, but uh, there's one special because uh, it reminds me when uh, I was very young. Yeah. And my mother is from uh, an island, Madeira. Oh, Madeira Island, yeah. Madeira Island. And uh, I spent the, my vacations there until I was 10 years old. Oh, a young boy. Yeah, 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 and um, I, for the rest of my life, it, uh, it, I kept uh, with the, the taste of the, this cake. Yeah, you're having the uh, memory. Honey cake. Yeah. And um, some weeks ago, just some weeks, well, some months ago, yeah. I found the original recipe. The original? To the eyes on the true, the true recipe with I don't with know the if it's, with, I don't know if it's, yes, 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 <laughs> all of that. And so I tried and uh, it was uh, it's very a tasty. Yeah, because uh, it's a, a traditional cake from the Madeira Island and have the uh, like spices, uh, different spices inside and eggs. But that cake um, have the, um, the long time to eat. One year? Yeah, one year. one year. More than a year. Oh, year. gosh, no. And it, it, it doesn't um, change, uh, yeah, its, change its properties the, the texture and with time. It's amazing cake. It's amazing. It's my favorite cake. It's true. Oh, see? Yeah. yeah. Now, let me share with you that but it's because of these cakes that I thought of Luis for the program, because he <laughs> likes to cook. <laughs> 
and make these cakes so that his therapists become nice oh, and fat as well. Oh, Luis, I see you. Oh, <laughs> That's like, why he's here. Josefa, you, <laughs> it's punishment. Uh, Luis, go down and do. No, no, Josefa, eat. Yes. <laughs> No, Zef, I understand the It's like, have some coffee so, and some cake, and we, you drag a session, and you run away from the exercise, <laughs> right? <laughs> now, um, no, let's so go to cook. Okay. No, I think well, we produce the milkshake, but I think it's important we produce in the first time a flavor water. You like the flavor water? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay. In the first time, we need that to, to start a glass, and you put inside Red fruits, strawberries, what you want to put inside? Hmm. One of these? Um, nice decision making. No, no. Uh, and the next time. Okay, now we put a different red fruits. One example, yeah, inside. One, two, three. One, okay. two, two, okay, two, three. And Josefa, you can to cut. No, one. I'm not yeah, a cook. Yeah, yeah. No. No, <laughs> cat. Let's go. My mom will be so proud. <laughs> um, Luis. No, I, I would suggest to. <laughs> you can to cut like this. One and two. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Start. <laughs> I see myself as a lot of things, not a cook. <laughs> it's very it's easy. Just, yeah. yeah. It's an art. No? Yeah. Now you put inside. And you can to put a little bit of mint inside. I like mint, it's very fresh and it's a different flavors because mint and lemon, it's amazing. Yeah, mint. And I have a trick. We put like this in the first time and after uh -huh. you put inside. Mm. Very good. One more, one more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> one more time, let's go to cook, let's go. To produce, Josefa, give no. me water, please. Josefa, no, 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 in there, 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 water. Oh. And I would have now to put five. the water inside, like Oh, this is this. so scary, Mora. No. Ah. Let's go. So one of the things that we wanted to highlight, obviously, in the program is sometimes people might be afraid of cooking because of all the difficulties in Parkinson, right, Luis? Do you feel that there's any specific struggle that, yeah. like slowness, taking too long? Yeah. This is a common you, thing. You have to be prepared to take a much uh, longer time that uh, yeah. people will, it's, uh, yeah. that doesn't have uh, Parkinson. Mm -hmm. But um, besides of that, um, I think um, we must uh, also take care so not to cut ourselves. Yeah. So this is a concern for you. You yeah. usually cut yourself, mm. cutting the vegetables. Yeah, I usually make uh, a lot of soup. Yeah. I like eating soup. But uh, the, the mixed soup or the with the the products? No, the Portuguese soup. Yeah, the the traditional <laughs> with I the slice, beans. With the I slice um, the carrots. The yeah, carrots and all the potatoes and the other ones. Yeah, yeah. I make. Uh, I like it too much, very much to to eat uh, soup at night. Uh, and in the night. final, they put in the olive oil on the top. The olive soup. oil, of yeah, course. Yeah, it's amazing. The traditional soup, it's different. Uh, one example: in Portugal, we have a different types of soups. The the more traditional, it's the um, bean soup with the red beans and the squash and the cucumber and another ones. But um, exists a traditional soup in the Aventes with the tomato. Yeah. You like tomato soup? Yeah, yeah. And Josefa. Tomato no, Josefa, Josefa, this, no, 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 <laughs> just hamburger. <laughs> but, I'm yeah. a very bad example of a Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was going to say, so how long would um, an ordinary meal be for you, for you to prepare a meal? Half an hour, one hour, what would be? No, never less than one hour. One hour? But uh, yeah. when I make uh, the soup, I, uh, I always make a great... Uh, a big pan. A big, big pot of soup. <laughs> yeah. That lasts for three days for me and my, my wife. Yeah. And so in, I, could, uh, I cut uh, two onions and a lot of carrots, uh, <sighs> some two or three potatoes, and well... 
very ingredients. Does your inside. wife help you? No, no. Luis, Luis is the chef. This is not typical. No, this no. Is a, two men are going to no, cook no, no, and no, I'm no, just no. going to watch. I this is not I no, no, no. After you are going I don't to want, I don't want to lie because she will see this program. <laughs> yes. and, uh, so she does. So she, yeah. Yeah she, yeah. she also does. We have some dishes that are specialty from one or the other. But uh, uh, it's always me who makes the soup. Okay. Okay. And I always want to make the soup in half an hour, but I never reach it because there's yeah. a lot of veg vegetables yeah, to, you to cut. To cut. And, and you have to plan uh, what goes in first, and the, the planning yeah. is usually an issue. Yeah, yeah. You're doing two things at once, so you have something cooking here, and then you have to do something yeah. here, it's and then you have to combine it to do a third thing. <laughs> Right, so it's sometimes, multitasking. To sometimes its core. the multitasking is a bit complicated. Yeah, not in the soup because um, soup yeah, it's, it's easy. It's one ingredient, but yeah, when you but produce when it. I when I produce the soup in another dish, for, oh. for instance, it's it's very it's not easy. Yeah. It's a multitasking that's not easy. Yeah, because for example, if you produce a soup and the cake go down, it's yeah. difficult. So but I would soup I would and cake. <laughs> no, it's impossible. Cake for, is me, an for me, it's impossible because the cake attracts me. Yeah, requires a lot of uh, attention. Yeah, attention. Yeah, mm. to to soup, mix soup. To it's easier. Yeah, the cake. Soup, it's oh, that's interesting to know for occupational, right? Yeah, this yeah. this honey cake uh, obliges uh, obliges us to make. Um, oh, use your hands so you you yeah. know those for. Ah. Yeah, at, exercise. at least, yeah. at it's least difficult. half an hour. Yeah. Of yeah. doing this? Just to mix, yeah. And it's different because you don't put in that cake baking powder, you put yeast. And after to mix, you need one hour to the cake come up. And after to bake, it's, it's difficult cake. Well, that, that's exercise, I guess. Hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, how, how do your hands feel after? Not the hands, the muscles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have, will have to try it. Yeah. <laughs> now bring, bring it for therapy. Now okay. let's go to the to the flavor water. Put mm. this inside and slowly, okay? Slowly. Let's see your style, your cooking style. Oh, you are a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> music. <laughs> we no. have to, I'm gonna put some, put on some music for us to to move. No. <laughs> and. For the ladies. Oh, for me to drink? Oh, I think that's good. I'll be talking. I will approve. Are you sure you want me to approve? It's just water, but have a different flavor. It's good. It's, it's fresh. actually good. And believe me, I wouldn't <laughs> pretend that. <laughs> Josefa, you never drink water. Josefa, water? No. No. <laughs> no. no. I told you, I'm a bad example. No, it's, a, it's, it's really good. It's good. I think. Yeah. It's very, very good. And if you can, if you want, you can use the plums or orange or uh, one example, orange zest or a lemon zest, a different ingredient, and you can to produce a different flavors to the water. And yeah. one example, in the winter, you put, uh, cook, um, you put uh, squash or different ingredients. In the summer, you put cucumber inside and you give a different flavors to in, in the simple water. And it's amazing. But now we are going to prepare a milkshake. Wow. You like okay. a milkshake? Yeah, of course. No, I like that. I like you that. Like? Oh, Josefa. I'm a milkshake woman, yes. You are a milkshake woman. <laughs> Josefa. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> First, we cut the plums like this. May I try? Of course. You have an, a different one. Josefa? No. Oh, oh. No, you it's, it's, your okay, knife? it's okay, it's okay. I want to see like, Josefa. I'm going to, I'm going to oh, oh. look so bad. Yeah, start to cook now. Ha. Yeah, I told you, my mom will be proud. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, well, you... now, you cut again this and... Mm -hmm. Gee, if you have to think about everything you're going to yeah. do, oh, we'll it's be It's very here. easy. Until tomorrow. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. But oh, must. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can I be Mr. Bean in this show? <laughs> <laughs> now 
Now, Josefa, I think we need an exercise because I no, have no. <laughs> one, but you have uh, so another one and another one fry pan. Yeah, because... So is that like a challenge? What can I do with three pans? <laughs> do you know how many ideas I can give you with this? Not, not war, please. Make peace, not okay. war. First, we put one, two, and like this. Produce. Let me see if yours is heavier than mine. We have to bully. Yeah? You can, to produce the exercise? Luis, it's very well. That's oh, not challenging. If you have to throw it up. Or something. Oh. Yes, I don't have that style though. That's stability. No. One, <laughs> two. Hello. I think it's difficult because they are heavy. Yeah. Go for it. If we try? drop it, it's okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Luis, oh. very well. You are a chest. Well no, Luis. Now just with your left hand. Zephyr. Left hand, it's easy. No, it's not easy. So, uh, <laughs> so one of the things that we do in therapy, we usually challenge people out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Right? So it's like it's really about getting all the inputs and on the most affected side in Parkinson's. So if you are able to do something with the most affected side, it will be better for you to reinforce that. Use yeah. it or lose it. Uh, of course, if you're cooking, if you have something on fire, or you, you'll, you'll keep uh, safety it's, as a priority. It's curious because my, my Worst side is the right, right, but this time the mm -hmm. right is better. Like yeah. this. Hey. But now look how you're doing with your left. Look yeah, at, I tried, but it's not the same thing. It's not yeah. the same thing because your feet are not the same, right? So yeah. Ah, okay. it's, you, you were, so the, the placement of the feet is actually a, a nice, um, I would say, a nice tip to give people out uh, when you are cooking. Um, if, and typically in Parkinson, people tend to have their feet together. So if you have a wide base of support, you will actually distribute the weight better. So yeah. you, will, you will be able to hold on longer without having discomfort and back pain and actually being able to uh, maybe turn quickly if you have to go get something in the back. Yeah. When your feet are too close, you place yourself more at risk and more effort. So at the end of cooking, you might be feeling too, your legs are, are too tense. Do you agree? I completely agree. And uh, you see how it's difficult to, to be a... Uh to have Parkinson's disease because you have the normal multitask, but you have also to remember where are your feet. <laughs> yes, that's why I actually... Are I, they flexed or not? This is... Are this, they... <laughs> oh, so I would give you an the... example uh, back up. It's like queuing, right? I, I actually visited Luis recently at his home to, uh, to give him some of these tips. And it's just like placing uh, queuing on the floor. Yeah. Which it will help you to uh, remember where to place your feet, right? Oh. Yeah. So it's, um, it's while you're idea. cooking, you get distracted, you get focused on what you're doing with your hands. That usually your posture and your feet become really uh, in a, in an posi uncomfortable position in the long run. So something simple like if this is where Luigi is, I would place the lines like this. Yeah. It's simple, it's just a tape. So that means that I'm always reinforcing that he's in a wider base. Oh, it's a good idea. And if right? You, well, and and even if you, while you're cooking. It's very important to me. Yeah, you might yeah. consider shifting your weight from side to side yeah. so that your back is not fixed. So, like you're fixing like this, your posture is too rigid. So, if we are doing this, and this is where the music comes in, right? So, if you have music, you are engaged <laughs> in it. No, I need music. No, no, no. Zephyr. I'll get, Zephyr. I'll, get, I'll get some music. So every time I put the music on, you guys have to dance, right? You guys, you see? I'm sorry. <laughs> see? Now we can get our pots. Look out. We can really get silly with this. <laughs> Very well. So I, was, oh. I, I don't think I'm going to try it because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have success. I'll be Mr. Bean for sure. So I think just the key idea is that if we combine yeah. a little bit of movement while people are cooking, and I think this is really, I would say, the, the aim of having thought about this activity, is like bringing some movement while you are cooking so that it doesn't become so um, such an effort. Um, I would imagine at the end people are tired, yeah. they want to sit down and take it, enjoy their meal and yeah. they just feel too exhausted to even take yeah. advantage, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you agree? 
Yeah, of course. Do you have any difficulties um, turning around in the kitchen? Perhaps yes. Um, sometimes when I'm, for instance, I'm here and I must go there. And uh, sometimes I'm, I almost freeze. Okay, that's... Uh, that means I, I take um, some seconds that I really don't know what to do. Yeah. It's like and your feet are stuck to the floor. Yeah. yeah. And finally, I make the decision and I go. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, sometimes it's... it's sometimes it's... Um, yeah. it's, it's difficult to explain because it's, yeah. it's a silly thing. So it is a common, a very common issue in Parkinson. And I would say, that, so these strategies that we use, like having these lines on, if your feet are apart, your decision will be quicker. But, with, with so one of the things we train in, in therapy is really about how can I turn quickly? And it's like really uh, making it more cognitive, which means I think about if I'm going to the right. The first yeah. foot that has to move is the right, right foot. And the problem in Parkinson, the decision is hesitating, and so the person is trying to move. Often they use the wrong foot to turn. And so they might have something like this. Yeah. So it's like always learn if I'm going to the right, it's my right foot that moves first. This is always and done spontaneously. So it's supposed yeah. to be automatic. But unfortunately in Parkinson, it isn't. And so people have to rethink yeah. about it. Luis, in your kitchen, in your house, you have that technique? No. I try, no, I, I don't have the... But it's a good taste. technique. Yeah. It's, it's very good because... Um, we uh, people who have Parkinson has the habit of stretching. Yeah, straight. Yeah. Yeah. Having it, them it's, together, it's right? It's natural having the feet together, and uh, if we have the, the feet like this, yeah, it's more easy. You have more balance. Yeah. You have more conditions to, to make go. things, mm -hmm. and even it's better to go to the right, to the left. left. Yeah. yeah. No. And it even helps hand function. So yeah. sometimes if people are struggling cutting the vegetables, if they are feeling more balanced, they will be able to do a wider movement. So I do recall uh, people saying that they're having difficulty peeling a potato because they, yeah, they're doing it like difficult. this. And just sometimes using this trick, it places their hand in a different position and they are actually able to do it easier. So sometimes Ooh. it's these tips, feet apart, open up wide, and that, that actually helps and facilitates. These are... Hmm. Now, let's go to continue to cook. Okay, okay. Let's, let's see what's... We in. need an uh, orange peel or an uh, orange zest. You need to cut like this with a knife. One lemon peel and after we cut in zest like this. Oh my gosh. This, oh, this it's I'll, difficult. This I will not try. <laughs> Um, no, slowly. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Josepha? No. <laughs> I, t I know, no, no. Oh. You, you yeah. do it. You have a, one technique. To the, the woman won't forgive me if I can't yeah. do it. You have, Josepha, you have uh, any technique to produce No, so, so as you can see, it's like it's very close, right? It's yeah. this comfort of, of us opening maybe. Well, usually the, all these tricks and tips that I might be sharing with you, it's based on things that people automatically also um, share with us, right? That you come up with, a, like, so, oh, I usually do this. So it's really about listening to how people deal with these problems that we are able to give these strategies. Do you agree that if you do it like this, it will be easier? Yeah. This was based on a colleague of ours that, yeah. Yeah, but this... Now that one, I have no tip for that. Yeah. <laughs> this, Slow. I don't make um, it like... Yeah, it's perfect. Like, like you know, no, no, Luis, no, get a it's perfect, look. It's amazing. No, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah thinly. But, but you, you see when I speak in about slowliness, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must do it slowly because if not... How long are you going to take to do that, right? Let's it's, get a Fabio in our lives, right? And so you can yeah. just <laughs> come in. It's perfect. Now, we need to saute. Saute the plums with a little bit of honey. Josefa. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, we put just a small, mm. very, 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 ooh la la, mm. en français, 
C'est merveilleux. Mmh. Repeat more. OK. Fantastic. You get into the zone. Try it, try it. You try it. Yeah. Yeah, try. Yeah, the, the goal is to <laughs> no, see if it's... No, no, Luis put it. Using the wish to see if it's difficult or not, right? It's, it's, like, oh. it's not just making up recipes. They have to be feasible, right? People have to be able to do them. Mmm, yummy. Mm. It's perfect. Now we put the orange zest and a little bit to cinnamon powder. It's important to the powder stay inside the mix. Okay? Just a little bit. And so many rules. Yeah. And we are going to start to it's mix. Not rules, it's just tricks. Tricks. It's important in the tricks. in the in tricks the kitchen. Are... <laughs> we mix with the spoon. Inside, which okay. spoon? It's spoon. Very slowly. Continue okay. to this. Okay, get oh. it. Nice style. Hmm. If you and now. So I can imagine this takes uh, takes some time. I'm, I'm thinking about how can we incorporate sometimes movement. Yeah. And so if we are doing this, are you able to bend your knees slightly? Like this. Yeah, so every time you go round, and this is, it's not a question of being, you know, becoming silly or not, it's being useful, which is standing position too long might yeah. bring discomfort, especially in the legs. So if you are able to just get into a flow where you're bending your knees, you break down that rigidity, okay? So it's... And you mix and you... Of course, when, when you put music to this, I you don't feel that silly. I the music, I was telling you Yeah, that. yeah, it's like you don't feel silly because you have the music. Don't worry, oh. I'm always, I am always have music. No, you need the music. <laughs> Do you use music when you're cooking? Yeah, but um, the music I listen is uh, <laughs> completely different. <laughs> it's not uh, dancing music, it's uh, <laughs> classic music or, classic music or jazz. You like jazz? Yeah. Oh, yeah. jazz, it's... I, it's Amazing music. Now, okay. Luis, you like the ginger? Of course. Oh, it's very uh, flavor and aromatic. We cut a little bit to ginger, like this, and we cut thinly. I cannot see this. <laughs> oh, what? Let's change it. A little bit already. more large. Yeah, it's different. Okay. Yeah. No blood on, on scene. Yeah, fantastic. Now, you know, because we just, might... Just one, just one. Uh, people often speak about the tremor also, yeah. which is a correct, one of the That's symptoms it. of Parkinson's. It's Parkinson. amazing. Look, perfect. But... Okay. It's a good slice. It's perfect. Luis. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> you are a chef? <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Now, continue to mix again and we need to prepare a aromatic milk with mm. milk or if you want you can use the vegetable milk soya milk almond milk a different types of milk okay and we can to put the milk one example with the cinnamon powder or the cinnamon or cinnamon stick with the orange zest and you prepare the infusion to the milk and after you mix all the plums, the ginger, the cinnamon, the milk, and it's very aromatic. Okay, mm. now we cut the orange peel like this. Finley. Okay, and we go to the that place. We need a pen, a pen, a pen, a pen. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, and we put the milk inside the pan. Let's go. All the milk? Half milk. Oh, it's perfect. We put the... Look. Look. Ha. <laughs> like a chef. The... Oh, yes. oh, Master chef. Master chef. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> a, cinnamon, a cinnamon stick. Who's one taking the prize today? Like this. <laughs> one for you and one for me. Like this. Mm. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Someone has to study if that uh, posture will uh, be <laughs> effective, more effective. Yeah. It's loving your food. Lovely. Love what you do. And we start to, uh, to produce the infusion, like a tea. But you don't put mm. water, you put milk. It's okay. different. It's a good yeah. trick. When, example, when you produce a cake, when you produce, uh, when you produce uh, different recipes, you mm -hmm. can't use that trick because you give more uh, flavors to the food, to the different, um, to the different recipes, and it's a good technique. Now, okay. we give, we Josefa, give me to the mix, give me the mixer, please. Okay. Check. Check. <laughs> we put inside. Okay, not check. <laughs> No, it's just open like this. Yeah, yeah. it's perfect. <laughs> we put inside. I told you my role is Mr. Bean. Yeah, we put ah. inside the plums. Put the milk like this. Which I wanted to ask you, do you think that uh, the tremor is somehow um, a difficulty for you? Sometimes if you're shaking more, if you yeah, the medications aren't making so of much course, effect. Of course, but... Um, to do this, how oh. beautiful he is stable. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I, I think I have a, a great luck that uh, the most uh, of the times I don't have, the, I don't feel the tremor. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the medication controls the tremor. So I don't, uh, I don't really be bothered by, by it, but sometimes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You would never cook if the medication wasn't working, right? If you were feeling it's like the it medication, wasn't working, off, medication, if, off. If, I, if I was totally off, yeah. it was impossible. Yeah, so it's... It would be impossible to... to yeah. Because if I am totally off, I, well, I, I'm, I'm another person. I, I'm not me, I'm another person. Yeah. I'm a person that has a lot of difficulties to, to make elementary moves. Yeah, so yeah. You, you mentioned the pressure of time that you have to be able to cook something that takes a long time and in the time frame of your medication working. Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. It's a challenge. Now we mix in the first time and after you put inside the flex seed. Okay? Josefa? Don't to stop torturing me. <laughs> <laughs> I go there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Like, like this, remember, and now. Remember, I do very good Jeff, other like, things. <laughs> like if you put your hand inside, and after we pulse like this. Okay, okay, okay. Jeff, interesting. Let's go. Which. Uh... <laughs> pulse, one, like. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, there's a trick. Like this. That's good. So now, now I need music. a music. To dance. Please. Take advantage. Let's go. Dance and mix. Like. It's okay. One. Two. Might as well make time useful. Three. Something my time. I'll take my time. It's more exercise. <laughs> That's like. It's a difficult exercise, Zephyr. No, it's sometimes... Yeah. Can I leave this? Yeah. You place your hands here. Yeah. And then you push it. Like this. Stop the machine yeah. and you continue the exercise. And after, we put again. Aha. Let's go. No, because you can take advantage of yeah. moments where you're waiting for something to work. Yeah. To really loosen up. So it's like if you're using the balcony, it's such a good place for you to, to be able to stretch out your legs a little bit. Yeah. Either backwards. Okay. And so what I would uh, would do is like because this becomes boring, why not memorize yeah. one of your recipes that we just did? The first one. What was the first one? What the water? Uh, the water. The what did we add in, Luis? I'm testing Luis. Oh. Uh, what what? The first recipe we did with the water. Can we do this and remember what was the ingredients? Yeah. Please, at the and same remember time? what was the ingredients? Yes. yes. I'm sure. So we had water. I'm sure because so it was something about water. We had water. We had plum. Yes, and a we have mint, some mint, and um, there's only one missing. There's only one missing, and I don't remember it. I think it was straw. It wasn't strawberry. It was the um, the red fruits. No, 
Yeah. Was yeah. it this one? Ah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so one, one pushing back. It was red fruits. What was the other one? Mint. 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 Plum. Plum. Water. And water. How about we do this with a little jump? That's always good for the knees there, like, if you can. Yeah. So it's harder to think when you're doing more, more effort exercise. With your, with your hands, we're using it so it's for our knees. So we had water. What did we put first? What did we put first? I think it was the plum. Mm. No? I'm, I think it was the red. You think it was the red? I think it was the red fruit. OK. Was it? Yeah, you put two or three. Yeah. yeah. Two? OK, so right. it was red fruit, one jump. Um, then next. Ginger, bending, until ginger. you remember, you ginger. just jump. <laughs> yes? Water, water was the last one, but there was... Mint. 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 And one for the mint. Okay. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, a natural way you can just bring in exercise everywhere. This actually reminds me that uh, when you have things like this that are making noise, Mm -hmm. um, I would imagine that people talking over things like this also brings on um, the connection about voice exercise, right? And voice is exercise. So being able to talk with your wife while you're cooking, being able to be focusing, multitasking, and being able yeah. to keep a good volume in terms of voice is also a challenge. Yeah, so it's really about you know, being able to deal with the interference of shifting your attention from yeah. one thing to the other and keeping focused on something. So it's, it's a challenge. Um, and I think cooking is a great example of this. What, what I did, we have John with us. So oh, that he John. can help us with the voice exercises. Of course. John. You know, besides, you know, the dancing and the singing, <laughs> we can, yeah, yeah. So listen, I'm going to connect here with him. Let's put him here on the stove. Let's cook John here. Oh, <laughs> hello, John. Hi, John. <laughs> hey, folks. Looks like you're having a lot of fun over there. I'm glad we can all get together and do something important to get the awareness out on World Parkinson's Day. Uh, so maybe while they're cleaning up and getting ready for what's next, we can do a little exercise that has a special focus on speech. Now, almost anyone living with Parkinson's can tell you just how hard it can be to communicate in the kitchen with all the different noises coming from the fans and the boiling pots of water and the microwave and all the other sounds. Um, being heard in that environment is not all that different from trying to be heard in any noisy environment. If you want to be heard, you have to produce more sound. And if you want to produce more sound, you're simply going to have to use more air. You're going to have to add it into your speech. And we'll give you a chance to try this throughout these exercises today. So let's begin with an activity to practice communication in this noisy environment. And we'll use a little bit of a kitchen theme throughout. So we can begin by learning a recipe. I want you to start by watching this 30 second video and please be attentive to the steps involved and make sure you memorize them in the order that they occur. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to test your memory. What were the four ingredients? We had lemons, we had berries, we had cinnamon, and we had water, right? Okay, now let's use these ingredients in an exercise to challenge your voice and your movement as well as your memory. Okay, so we're going to be reaching out to these different ingredients in the order that they appear in the recipe while we stay seated in this chair. Okay, now as you're reaching, I want you to grasp for each item as if you're picking it up off the shelf here and you're holding it tightly as you're firmly in your hands. So you're gonna make a fist at the end there, okay? Uh, all the images that you see behind me are gonna change position every few seconds. So stay attentive and keep on top of that because we're gonna move pretty quickly. We ready to get started? Lemon. Berries, 
cinnamon, water, lemon, berry, cinnamon, water, lemon, berry, cinnamon, water, lemon, berry, cinnamon, water. Now try to do that in reverse for a little challenge. Water, cinnamon, berries, lemon, water, cinnamon, berries, lemon. This time, let's go back to the original order, but say the entire phrase for each item. And remember, if you want to be easier to hear, you have to make more sound. And to make more sound, you have to use more air. Okay, so with that in mind, the four steps involved are peel the lemon, add the berries, add the cinnamon, and add the water. Okay, and feel that vibration, the extra vibration and sound that really just comes from adding a little more air into the process of speaking. This is gonna be how you comfortably and safely make yourself heard in noisier environments. Okay, are we ready to try this with complete phrases? Here we go. Peel the lemon, add the berries, add the cinnamon, add the water. Peel the lemon, add the berries, add the cinnamon, add the water. Peel the lemon, add the berries, add the cinnamon, add the water. Okay, now I want you to pretend that you're in charge of the kitchen and you're delegating to your team. You're telling them, I need you to do this, I need you to do that, okay? So before you get started, think of four names. You're gonna need one for each step in the exercise. And as you delegate, you need to be heard over all that kitchen noise in order to lead your team. So add a little more air in to make sure you can be heard and use a nice, firm, but assertive voice, okay, ready? Bob, I need you to peel the lemons. Roger, you can add the berries. Julie, you need to add the cinnamon. And Janet, add the water. Okay, let's try it again. Pick four new names. Maybe be a little more assertive, okay? Sarah, peel the lemon. Brian, add the berries. Rachel, add the cinnamon. Tom, add the water. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. Four new names, but I need you to be a little more insistent, maybe even just a little bit pushy, okay? Here we go. Peel the lemon, David. Add the berries, Sonia. Add the cinnamon, Katie. And add the water, Kevin. Nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna learn a new recipe. Once again, we're going to start by watching a 30 second video. Be sure to stay attentive to the ingredients needed and most importantly, the order in which they appear. So you're gonna see different items appear on the screen behind me, okay? We'll begin just by challenging ourselves to say both items, each one. That's a little warm up for the voice. It also addresses that tip of the tongue problem that's so common in many people living with Parkinson's, okay? And we're just gonna open and close our legs to add a little aerobic component throughout. See if you can keep up with me while we do that. Okay, here we go. Lemons, onions, pumpkin, Bananas, ginger, water, onions, cinnamon, pineapple, berries, pepper, pineapple. Okay, now we're going to change it up a little bit. You're still going to see two items appear at the same time, but this time I want you to reach out and grasp 
for the item that was only in the most recent recipe video. Okay, here we go. Mint, water, ginger, mint, cinnamon, ginger. Okay, now only point to the item that was in the first recipe and say that out loud with a clear voice. Here we go. Cinnamon, water, berries, lemon, berries, cinnamon. Back to the second recipe. Water, mint, cinnamon, ginger, cinnamon, water. Okay, now the first recipe. Berries, water, lemons, cinnamon. Now to the second recipe. Water, mint, ginger, water. Back to the first recipe. Cinnamon, water, berries, lemons. Okay, back to the second recipe. Cinnamon, water, ginger. Okay, back to the first recipe. Water, berries, cinnamon. Second recipe, cinnamon, water. Back to the first recipe. Water, berries. Whew. Okay, I think we've all had enough for a little while now. Let's take it back to you and the crew, Josepha. Have fun today and happy World Parkinson's Day. Okay, guys, now that was a hell of a workout. <laughs> <laughs> John, it's very difficult. <laughs> 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 it always is. <laughs> So uh, I think uh, John cooked us, not not the jo opposite, right? <laughs> John, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Sir, thank you. <laughs> okay, I think um, uh, is our shaker done? What do you think? Yes. Yeah. We no, we need to put inside the flexit. Ah. Oh, it's okay. it's important because the flexit it's fiber, and fiber it's uh, okay. important to have the good like um, mobility. Mo so mobility. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's very right, important. Right, now we put. The flexit right. inside the milkshake. Hmm. What is the flexit? <laughs> oh, the flexit, we have the flour oh, flexit, and if oh. you have the dishfasher, it's you can to put more flexit because you have a different texture. You mm -hmm. put one more spoon, two spoons, three spoons, yeah. and you have the milkshake to the pudding. And if you do have those difficulties, you might want to consider speaking with the yeah. speech therapist, right? Fortunately, I don't have this. Problem, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we put just two okay. spoons to flex it, and we mix again. Does it taste good? Yeah, it's you, you never. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Just to get it. No. Why do I ask? Just why do I ask? Just like, taste it. Like this. It's, no, a, it's a around. simple flour. <laughs> it's good. It's like a yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a hamburger. It's better. <laughs> Okay. No, it's different. Okay. Now we mix again. It's good. It's good. It's oh. good. And we. Shall we say good enough? <laughs> <laughs> now that's good. We mix a little bit more. More exercise. More exercise. Let's go. Well, we. It's, it's a more machine's fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, it hasn't stopped. Hasn't written. Okay. Now we need I to feel plate good about this. one glass, please. Uh, a sm or a big one I or a small. I see different ones. Yeah, it's different. interesting to consider how we want to grab onto it. Yum, yum. Let's go. Yum. <laughs> That's mm. actually the name of the, the program. <laughs> yummy, right? So we'll, we'll toast to yummy. 
Um, to the I will, Joseph, yeah. yes, Joseph. I will start wrapping up our, you know, key and? messages uh, for everyone back home. We really hope you had a, a nice day. I hope we were useful somehow to uh, at least raise awareness that people with Parkinson commonly have uh, difficulties with slowness of movement that of, uh, obviously will reflect in daily activities, right? And then adding to this, we have um, motor fluctuations or non-motor fluctuations that you also have to deal with. And so it's, it's all this in, in daily at, at life makes it really harder. And people find solutions and find ways to bypass it. I think another issue that we were raising awareness is really the... I would say the, the interference of cognition or planning activities of dividing your attention that also happens in the kitchen. And then, of course, the difficulties with maybe hand function or turning around in the kitchen as well, even taking out dishes, you know, from, from a machine or something, yeah. you know, bending over and back problems. So the, it can be um, challenging, but, you know, we are in a day where we want to bring hope and there are strategies that can help you. So we hope this somehow was helpful for you. Thank you both for your tremendous uh, participation. It was a pleasure. It was Thank a you, pleasure. Joseph. Thank, Thank you, you, Luis. Thank you, Fabio. And, and we should toast now yeah, to our success. A, a cheers. Ah. Hopefully. And so we to Parkinson Day or to Yummy. Or to Yummy. <laughs> and to the Parkinson Day. To mental health. To <laughs> cheers. To the end of COVID. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, it's delicious. I think it's yummy. Yeah. <laughs> no, they didn't pay me for that. It's, it's, it's yummy. It's very good. <laughs> Bye, people! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs>